Hi everyone, Ian here. In this video, I want to show you a collection of 52 online electronics calculators I've put together on my website. So if you bring up my website at www.ianjohnston.com and head over to Tools here, click on that, it'll bring up all the calculators, all 52 of them on the web page at once. And you can just click on any one of the buttons to bring up the calculator at the bottom. For instance, the parallel resistors one. And at any time you can go and click on to any of the other ones and it'll just bring up that calculator. These tools cover a wide range of topics. From basic resistor and capacitor calculations to 555 timer circuits, voltage dividers, parallel and series networks and even more advanced design tools. Each calculator is interactive and runs right in your browser. There's no downloads or sign-ups required. They're completely free. They're designed to be fast, accurate and visual. As you can see, I've got schematics as well on each one of the calculators. For instance, this RC filter, first to fourth order. It's currently on the second order. You can see that there. Click to fourth order and it populates the schematic. Now this uh, RC filter one is actually a little bit more interactive than some of the other ones. Of course you can change the input values there for R and C and it will automatically calculate the uh, cutoff frequency for that filter down here. So if I just change that one there to 100, you can see it's changed 159 hertz. But also you can apply a frequency input into the input of the filter just to have a look and demonstrate the output. So for instance it's uh, set to a thousand hertz at the moment I can move the slider back and forward and you see this bar graph down here changing that's demonstrating what the output voltage may look like obviously at low pass, low frequency you're going to get a full voltage output but as you move it towards the right you can see the filter in operation there the DB figure and also the phase and of course if you go right to the right hand side you'll see that uh, you basically got nothing on the output. And of course, it will demonstrate the knee as well on that filter. If I go back to the first order filter and do the same thing, I'm having to move the slider a lot more uh, to see that knee in operation there. There's other ones like the 55 timer one here. This one here, very similar look and feel. You've got the input values here for R, A, R, B and C. There's a schematic down at the bottom. And if you change any of the values, here I'll just up the uh, RA value and you can see the schematics changing as well. That sample output here showing you what the waveform will look like in terms of mark and space. The duty cycle it's demonstrated there and also for fun the RC node for the uh, pin 6 and pin 2 there. Now a lot of the calculators are the old style ones. I haven't got around to upgrading them yet to these new graphical ones. And they just look like this here. Just the white boxes there where you can input your data. Hit the solve button and it will calculate the output or whatever. And I will get around to upgrading those eventually. And showing it with a schematic also. If I go down to the op amp, the inverting op amp here. You can see it brings up the calculator here, the input values there, the input resistor and the feedback resistor. You can change the values of typing in uh, a new value there or just use those little up and down buttons there to change the resistor value directly. And also you can change the units as well. And it will automatically recalculate in the background and give you the gain here set by the resistors. But what you can also do is apply an input voltage to the circuit and see what the actual output voltage will be. And there's a slider here you can use to vary that input voltage. You can see the gain obviously stays the same, but you've got the output voltage there. And you can play with the resistor values uh, at any time. Change that one to 12k. And you can see the gain change and of course the output voltage did for that given 4.7 volt input. Now all of these calculators are written in my CMS, my content management system that I use for my website. And here's a screenshot of all the individual calculators in the back end. So it's very easy to modify any one of them. I'll bring up the code for one of them. 
there's the Xenar diode voltage regulator there and you can see the code in that box there. So I can change these anytime, tweak them if there's any problems, let me know via the contact button at the top of the page or if there's any other ones you'd like added then just let me know. So there's 52 calculators on the website at the moment. I'm adding more almost daily. So if you've got any ideas for any others, let me know via the contact button up at the top here and I'll try and implement it. So if you want to try them out, then head over to www.ianjohnston.com and just hit the tools menu at the top there to bring up the calculators. Whether you're a student, a hobbyist or a professional engineer, these are great for quick reference and design work. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share the link that I'll put in the description below. It really does help the channel grow and keeps me adding more tools. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.